reporting for TTN HD Production Live here with Stan Turvin, one of the writers of Moneyball. Stan, how did you get involved in this project? Um, it would be almost exactly eight years ago, in February of 2004, Rachel Horvitz, the producer, had been obsessed with making the book into a movie. And nobody had figured out how to do it. So I'd been recommended to her by a mutual friend. I read the book and I instantly saw how to do it. Um, basically, it, I reduced the whole book down to two sentences, which was, it's the story of a guy who needs to rebuild a baseball team and in the process of rebuilding a baseball team, rebuilds his relationship with his daughter. And it's the story of a man who discovers it's more important to know his value than his price. Mm -hmm. So once I could get it down to those two sentences, even though the book had been out for about a year and a half, everyone could see the movie. And we sold it off a pitch, and then I ended up writing it for Sony. So. Are you a parent? Do you have a, yes. a daughter? <laughs> okay. I have, I, have, I have two daughters and a son. Uh, they're now... 24, 21, and 16, so they were 16, 14, and 8 when I started, so. Wow. Um, actually, my daughter, Honor, is almost the same age as Casey, the, the daughter in the movie, so uh, Billy and I had that in common. So you had a really close connection yeah. to the script on a personal level. Yeah, I mean, you know, Billy's main concern, obviously, is he has a great relationship with his daughter, mm -hmm. so the, 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 that subplot had to be completely invented for the movie. And I told Billy that I would never present Casey any way that I would present Honor. In other words, I, I'd be very respectful. And I really give Steve Zalian and Aaron Sorkin, the other writers on the movie, a lot of credit for, I, I had a whole subplot with Billy Casey. And they came along and really showed that less is more. Mm -hmm. That with a parent-child relationship, you don't need a lot of screen time to convey how much emotion is there. And Brad, too. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a wonderful scene in the movie where he hears her play a guitar. Yeah. And his reaction tells you how much of his her life he missed, how much he regrets it, how proud he is of her. And he does it all in a reaction shot, mm -hmm. you know, which would take me 10 or 12 pages. So <laughs> Efficiency, <laughs> yes. yes. Exactly, exactly. So. Wonderful. When you were writing um, the script, did you envision it the way it was produced and yeah, made? The, um, from the almost the pitch on, so that's eight years ago, through every draft, the overall structure of the movie has always been the same. It always, it always took place in this calendar year, more or less, of um, October 2001, when he loses the free agents and loses in the first round of the playoffs, to November of 2002, when he turns down the Boston job. Mm -hmm. So that had always been the year, and then his backstory, his kind of... Um, being drafted so full of promise and completely crapping out as a ball player was always seen as flashbacks. And then within that year, we always had the structural beats of the the showdown with the with the other scouts, mm -hmm. the uh, recruiting of the ball players, Hatterberg, Dave Justice, that first day of spring training where he actually sees his theories in practice, mm -hmm. then opening day when he has to sort of reveal this to the public, yeah. and then um, trading day which is the great scene where, with he and Jonah where they trade, and then the 20th game. So, so that's always been the basic structure of the movie from the beginning. Wow. You've been working on this since 2004, so right. a long time. Has it been an exciting process yeah. for you as you've gone? Has it yes. been? It's been terrific because um, the first writer on was David Frankel and the, the current director is Bennett Miller. Mm -hmm. And it's really a great opportunity to work with a director, particularly a director as talented as David and Bennett, to, to show what they bring to the mix. I mean, you know, I always say that the subtitle of the book is The Art of Winning an Unfair Game. Mm -hmm. And it's really an unfair task to ask anybody to direct the movie Moneyball. Mm -hmm. And it's the sheer art of Bennett Miller that made it the movie that it is today. Mm -hmm. um, Brad, absolutely the nicest human being in the world. I mean, he's been so great for this movie because I don't know if you're aware, but we shut down production 96 hours before we were going to start shooting. And Brad has a stack of scripts with $25 million checks attached on his bedside table. And he could have gone to make any of those, and he stuck with Moneyball. And, and it's a real testament to him that this movie got made. So, uh, no, it's been a great, a great experience. And Rachel Horowitz, our producer, Mike DeLuca, uh, I've enjoyed working with absolutely everybody on this movie. So. Do you have more uh, sporty scripts yeah. coming up? 
<laughs> uh, I'm currently trying to finish the first draft of a movie about Caltech men's basketball team mm -hmm. uh, who lost 300 games in a row from 1985 to 2010. Uh, and Ben Stiller's production company, Red Hour, uh, Ben Stiller and Stuart Kornfeld are the producers on that, and that's at Disney, so I'm, I'm trying to get that done. So you've got the niche covered yeah. of losing teams. Yes, exactly. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the guy. When it comes to losing, I'm the guy. So. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I'm going to do the Washington Generals story next, which is, do you know who the Washington Generals are? No. <laughs> okay. Washington Generals are the team who always play the Harlem Globetrotters, okay. and so they've always lose. They, you know going into the, into the match they're going to lose, so that's the next, the next team I have to cover, uh, the next group of losers I have to do. So. <laughs> oh, well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is a huge honor. Oh, thank you. Really? Thank, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a thrill. It's been a great experience. So. Great. And is there um, someplace online where we can find out more about your work? Nope. Okay, <laughs> just IMDb and yeah, exactly the same okay. same usual places. So uh, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, oh, Stan, you. and My best pleasure. of luck at the Oscars. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for TTNHD Production Live. <laughs>